Hey guys, this is Spencer from Destructoid.com. That's Jordan DeVore. That's me, I'm Jordan. We are inside of PAX, in the belly this, of it. This is the belly of the beast. Which is terrifying, but also semi-fantastic, because we got to touch up on Wind Waker HD Edition. We did, we did. That place has been a madhouse. Yeah, they're giving out like Link pajama shirts, which are the best Apparently shirts of all time. Apparently that's like, uh, people will kill for it. I did. There are you literally a three dead bodies. There are bodies scattered throughout Seattle. You can try and find them. Actually, don't. We don't want you to be arrested. It's like a treasure hunt. But for, it's, for it's our own treasure hunt for Destructoid. You find Spencer's deceased... Uh, deceased victims. The victims. So, we got to skip the line because we're horrible jerks. I felt like such an asshole. Because the line is like 45 minutes long, like it, an hour long. It's like long. four people. Well, when I went, it was like four people, but the demos are so long. So I don't understand why people are waiting that long, except for the shirts, because this is an HD version of a game we've had for 10 years. It, yeah. Yes. A great game. A great game at a that. Fantastic but, game. It is my favorite Zelda but game ever made. We both agree that the original looks so great. It did when it came out, and it still holds up fairly well. Yeah, this is like the one Zelda that doesn't the need one, an HD remake. The one. Like, if they were like, yo, HD Majora's Mask, people HD... People would flip like, the fuck out. If they out. were to take, like classic ones and just take it make HD sprites of like Link's Awakening Dude. slap that on the Wii U I, give me a money. remake give me a remake of the Game Boy Color ones boom done boom With, oh my god I'd be all over that yeah so it's weird that they picked this one it is I mean so we we've, uh, we were talking before we both have gone back to play the original Wind Waker I uh, only only a little bit and my experience for 10-15 minutes here at PAX was I'm terrible for not playing this to completion because this is this is my jam. I'm not really a big 3D Zelda guy, honestly. I prefer the 2D, but something about uh, everything about this, not something everything about this seems great. Yeah, so they have made some changes since they the have, original. They have. Uh, there are new items like the there's the the quick sail or the speedy sail or whatever. I don't so remember. You, can, you go a little bit faster on the boat. You go like twice as fast. Oh, is like, that so, fast? So okay. people complained a lot in the first one that the the boat took forever to get places, which is it's cool at kind first. Any any of that exploration stuff is cool at first, and then after a while, you're like going through the motions. See, I might so. just be a masochist because I really loved it. because oh, okay. It felt like a nice way to break things up, but I understand why people didn't like it. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing that I'm missing a ton is the uh, so Wind Waker was originally on the GameCube. It was. Uh, which had it was right when they were pushing like the GameCube Game Boy Advance function. Oh yeah. So there was oh, the Tingle gosh. Tuner. I still have one of those cables. Yes, but the Tingle Tuner allowed like a second person to play as like a cursor and they could like go and find exclusive stuff. They could drop bombs on enemies. It was really great, and I actually wow. went through the game a second time with a friend, and we swapped off the Tingle Tuner. They don't have that anymore. They have That's to... interesting, because they've been doing a lot of that kind of two-player modes in their, in a lot of Wii and Wii U games. It would be perfect. So what they have this but time is the Tingle here. Bottle, okay. which kind of pisses me off, because okay. it's like asynchronous, like you throw, like a, you put a note in the Tingle bottle and you chuck it in the ocean, right? Okay. And it washes up on the shore of somebody else's game, which is not a thing that I care about. Like, What do you get from that then? Like, what did they get out of it? Anything? That's my reaction. Like, Is it like, is oh, I can talk to people on the internet through a very obscure Tingle bottle? I mean... I think they were like, yo, Dark Souls did a thing. Oh, it's supposed like, to be like that. Uh, maybe. I don't okay. know. I don't I don't see the okay. point of it. But my other thing, so yeah. I I feel like I don't love Wind Waker HD as much as I should. Like I, I love Zelda like to my very core. And This should be for you then. It like I am I am the target audience for this for this game. And yet I have like it doesn't look like it should. Honestly, there are some jaggies in there. There's some bloom, and I think they've toned down the bloom since it was first announced. I get that impression because people were not happy with that. Yeah, like the over reliance on bloom can be annoying. It looks a little washed out. It does, which is very weird because like the first game is so everything is so bright and so pretty and so vivid, and now there's like you can tell that they're 3D models where everything you before can. looked like. It, at any point, you could just take like a frame, and it would look like a really pretty drawing. This, like when you see the screenshots, you're like, oh, like that's a weird, like rendered windmill. This isn't in the quite or, the Nino Cooney level of yeah it, animation and style, but at this point, like as much as I love it, like I'm sure for like you who's never gotten to play it, right? It's a great I fit, I feel like but, I need to get this, but at the same time, it's sixty bucks, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, a full price full game. Price game. Um, Although if you're getting a Wii U. There's the bundle. The bundle is a good which idea. Is cool. That's a good um, idea. I just I'm 
I don't feel like so I don't feel like it's sold me. Like I have the GameCube That's version. That's understandable. And it still looks gorgeous. And you probably really remember your playthroughs. Yeah, I mean, even like removing all the nostalgia and everything, I don't necessarily know that this is like the superior version. Like mm. they removed the which is super nitpicky, the the tingle tuner and like it it just doesn't look as good, which is weird for an HD remake. So Yeah. I guess if you haven't played it before, Give it a whirl, maybe you'll yeah, like it. Yeah, they tweak they tweak some things, like the the Triforce at the end. Yep, they, they removed some that's of that. That's different. You don't have to grind so much for rupees. You don't have to like pull stuff out of the depths as much, which is I suppose that's fair. Like, but that's, that's cool, not but... gonna again. That's not gonna be enough for you to jump up and down and. I mean, get it day one necessarily. I probably will because <laughs> I want. Nintendo you really? It is all at your core. Me. It is at your core. Then. Like it's it's very much like who I am is that <laughs> game and. I guess that's okay. I mean, yeah. Eh. 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 It, it could be better. Eh. There are other games they could have done instead that would have been a better use of their time, I think. We could probably just end this whole thing with just a list of, of Zeldas that would be better. We need, like, the scrolling text, and 30 minutes later, we're done. Just 30 minutes later, it'd be like, Oracle of Ages, Oracle of Seasons, Link's Awakening, Minish Cap. Like, just, just look the at the Wikipedia thing. list of Zelda titles, just, and you're let's done. Just drop it. <laughs>